different trainings that I have received as a notary. Um, so as we speak, different training that I have as a notary. Um, I kind of built up my business, added more streams, added more knowledge to myself, um, put them in use. It's a couple of them, maybe four of them I didn't use because I just got it and I'm still looking. Oh, I just received the certification. What by November and I didn't put them in use yet. Um, let's see. The first one is a mortgage field inspector. I kind of show. I've been seeing all the trainings that I add to the trainings so I have. Add trainings to your notary business or your mobile business, or your loan side or general business. Add different trainings to it for you can get that experience. Excuse me, I'm a little bit sick. But once again, the mortgage field inspector, for the mortgage field inspector, you want to go ahead and get that training. You want to have that certification because when you sign up with different platforms, they want to see, they want to see your certification. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to see your certification. Anyway, you can't just write, I have the knowledge, but I have the certification. I've been certified. They want to see that paper. Okay. Um, fingerprint a permit runner uh, most companies who you sign up with if you already know you can sell them a permit runner but most of most of the times too some of them don't want to see the certification also as well to let you to see if you are actually a notary not if you're actually a notary but you're actually another permit runner for you don't mess up their paper for you don't mess up the paperwork also for you don't mess uh for you don't put their time frame of their project for being a permit runner Put that time frame in the back mode because they want to they have a lot of time been been a permit runner they want to it's it depends if you're doing construction like electric or someone that's remodeling the houses when you get to them and they find out and you get they the paperwork with them they want to have that stuff done in a amount of time for they can get done with their project. So they have a deadline in their mind or already in set in place when they want to be done with building that house up. <coughs> <coughs> so that's how that is. Then the fingerprint. Um, fingerprint is just like if you go to the police station and get a fingerprint asking for child care. You can get your documents or your stuff off of Amazon. You can order your cards off of Amazon. You can order your cards off of something else. But I'll leave everything in the description so that y'all can pick it and get it. Get the knowledge of it. Get the information. 2022, we got to build up a business, okay? Um, a wedding visionary. If your home state is and in your state that you can be a wedding visionary, what I said in my last video, what by March, star exposing March, April, May, June. Hey, who need a wedding visionary? Let's do that. Um, pastel. I have not tried that yet. Ron, I'm certified. Didn't try that yet. Mobile notary. Um, you can be a mobile notary too with your notary, your business also as well. So kind of switch off if you wanted to. Loan signing, so you're not a regular notary, so you're a loan signing. So that means you know the, the loan side, like a general notary. Like mortgage documents, finance documents, real estate, uh, refinancing, reverse mortgage, dealership, all loans, loan documents. That's what that is. You're a signing agent because you have that knowledge and you have that experience and you took the training to be a loan signing agent. That's what that means. Um, I'm also at a tax prep. Sometimes most people say tax prep is, I mean, it's, what's the use been? Well, tax prep don't have nothing to do with notary. It kind of do. This is how I do. Yearly, we do business from the beginning until the year to dollar into December. <laughs> You gonna come to me as a tax prep anyway, for you wanna make sure your documents, all your paperwork is up to date, for you can file your business. That's if your business have enough funds 
when you grow some before January to December, if you gross enough business income so you can file. Once again, you need a tax prep, okay? But once again, you also want to make sure you have your documents in place. You want to make sure everything is right. Your financing, um, different software can actually watch your income as what you grow. I think of this notary gizzard or gadget. One of them, they watch your income. You will get a a ten a ten forty C with them. It's like a little form that you fill fill out with them, and then you use it for to file your business taxes. One more thing, when you file your business taxes, do not use your social security number. You need your social security number have to have an EIN. That is your social security number for your business. Business have social security. A e I N. You can apply that with the IRS, and it's zero for free. I just gave you all nine trainings that I have for my notary business. Take advantage of all the training you can get. Some can be for free. Some you will have to pay. Don't teach yourself out of knowledge, okay? Because it's not really not rich. Because at the end of the day, you gotta show proof. Some platform will proof that you have the knowledge, well, the certification or the training, okay? I will talk to you on my next video.